Today we're in Lebanon, Ohio to do our most overhyped review and we have a special guest. Welcome back to Subpar Golf Reviews. We finally made it to Shaker Run. Finally. We finally. <laughs> finally. This has been the most hyped oh, up golf course goodness. in the whole Rota. We've I didn't been talking about ever... this for like a year. I didn't think we'd ever get here. And the best part, Mike joined us. Finally. Mike. Hey, y'all. Everyone. Everyone. Mike. Hey. Uh, Mike is a, a subscriber to the channel and yep. uh, a friend I used to work with. And we got together and said, hey, you know, come on out and play some golf with us and you can do a Subpar Golf Review. <laughs> And I'm certain it's like the highlight of his life being on Subpar Golf. Um, right after getting married, I think, in the birth of my children. There, okay, wow. cool. Well played, Mike. In case there you're you go. This. I good like job. this guy. Good job. Yeah. Be smart. Very um, quick. We had a beautiful day today for golf. Perfect. 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 Might be the best day we've had all year. We also had something else happen today that we had not seen before. Actually, now that we've we've had two things happen. Yes. Somebody just hit a golf ball and it rolled right up here. <laughs> it almost hit us. Almost. It was interesting. It's going to be really interesting when he comes up to play it. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he's going to have right. a shot there. Should we film him and put it in the review? Maybe. That'd be interesting. We could heckle him and be spectacular. Ask. We could right. have him sign well, and not compete. We can, we can carry on and, we can carry on <laughs> until he gets up here. Or we can just take his golf ball and be like, <laughs> ah, no, no, no. Yeah. we didn't hear anything. So the other one? thing that happened, <laughs> the other thing, yes. as we were going up to the starter, a young man named Blake came up and said, "Hey, aren't here's you those guys, guys. <laughs> subpar guys." I'm like, yeah, man. So he joined us as well. So Blake, super nice young guy, played Great around guy. the golf with us and hit some good shots. Mm -hmm. So it was a nice. Lot of good shots. It was nice to meet Blake. No shoes even. Yeah, he, he played I've with no shoes. That. I've never seen that. I've actually seen that before. Have you? Yeah, I played with another guy with no shoes. I'd be worried about the traction, but he did fine. He did. So anyway. Let's talk a little bit about the history of this golf course because it's it's kind of interesting. This golf course opened in 1979 mm -hmm. and was designed by Arthur Hills. Now Arthur Hills designed a whole bunch of golf courses all across the country, but he has designed specifically some in Ohio that we've reviewed. Okay. He did Legendary Run. Right. He did Pipe Stone. Uh -huh. He did the dearly departed Weather Wax. Should we take a moment for Weather Wax? Loved Weather Wax closed unfortunately yeah and he did worthington country club okay so uh has done quite a few courses around here i think i've never played worthington but we've I'm obviously not. played the other since we reviewed them and i think i liked this better than those this is kind of a cool design the course design with all of the water all around especially on 9 and 18 makes it a lot of fun it is a really cool golf course now, they've uh, had a little turbulence here over the years. Since 1979, when this was actually a private course, uh, it was designed and built for Armco Steel back in the day, and it was a club for the employees there. Uh, at some point, obviously, they went public. It's changed hands several times. Uh, it's been sold to big corporations, to local ownership groups. Um, it seems like they're on the right track now. It's owned by a local group again. And they've actually made quite a few changes. Uh, sometime around 2017, they decided that they were going to buy this golf course property and they were going to make some improvements. And at the time, it really needed it because some of these ownership groups didn't do a great job taking care of this awesome golf course. And I know, Mike, you mentioned that you'd played it probably 10 years About or so. 10 years ago. And, it, and was... it was in bad shape. I came out here for an outing one time. And man, the greens were absolutely burnt to a crisp. I think I was with you. I, they, I agree. I they just that. stopped taking care of it, which is a shame because this golf course has a lot of accolades. Um, they played a uh, USGA uh, Amateur Public Links here. Mm. It was the one where Michelle Wee played with the men. Okay. It's a kind of a cool historical note. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. They've had some qualifiers for when they had the old uh, Kroger Senior Tour at, out of the Grizzly. Sometime back in the mid late nineties, this was regarded as probably the number one public access course in at least Southwest Ohio, if not the whole state. Yeah, no. I think you're right. I remember some golf digest or golf magazine articles where I think you're right. I think it was the number one golf course in Ohio, public course. So this was widely respected and, and thought very highly of by pe people in the golf community. So then it fell off the map. It really did. And that's unfortunate. I, but, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it seems like it's in good hands again. Um, I can tell you also that 
they have taken a real interest in uh, having a presence on social media. Uh, I see a lot of activity on Facebook and right. I think on Twitter okay. where they talk about events they're having in the clubhouse and the restaurant. I think they do some you know bingo things and some fish fry things and all kinds of good stuff over I, the course of the year. I will the say, restaurant looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I was going to mention that. The <laughs> restaurant looks fantastic. I mean, they did have brats. They did. We they had did. a bratwurst when we got here. They did have brats. That's a, always the turn. a plus. You want to do your brat review while we're here? <laughs> well, you know, it's hard to beat the last place we played where the brats were freshly grilled. The Blue Ash grilling experience was spectacular. Oh, my gosh. It's hard to beat that. It really is. Just having brats gets you at least a five. Okay. Well, yeah, that's good. Is that fair, fair yeah, assessment? Yeah. Just having. It's important. It's having, yeah. Well, if you're going to do a brat review, it helps to have brats. That, that's exactly. very important. <laughs> so I, w I wouldn't rank them as high as having a freshly grilled brat, but I'm going to put them like around a seven. Okay. You know, it was a tasty the bun I mean, was, was tasty. the bun was not hard or anything. Yeah. No, no, it, it was, was good. delicious. And it was and a nice, it was a nice thick meaty brat. It, it was, was good. I like flavorful, it. great. So there, there's the brat. Good marks on the brat. Um, one further note on a historical thing here. Um, like Yankee Trace in Centerville, this golf course actually has 27 holes. Right. So we have the original 18, which they've dubbed uh, Lakeside, Lakeside and, and Woodland. Woodlands. Woodlands. And I always have to stop and think about that because the names are so similar to the nines that used to exist at Weatherwax. I gotta uh, check myself. Let me check. Yeah, Woodland was Lakeside. Yep. Woodland was Lakeside. <laughs> All right. Yay, we did it. Uh, they added the extra nine uh, later in the uh, life cycle of this golf course. It's called the Meadows. And we have played the Meadows before. I don't like it quite as much as the original 18. It's the just a little different. The original 18 is laid out so well. Which is kind of the case at Yankee, too. The, yeah. the vintage, the extra nine at Yankee, isn't the same, isn't That's as good not. as the regulation course. So, But uh, today we played the original 18, and uh, it was in uh, pretty good condition. What did you guys think? Overall. Overall, it was in pretty good shape. The greens were good shape. The fairways were really good shape. Fairways were great. The tee boxes. You eh. left a lot to be desired right. in, some, in, in some spots. I mean, we definitely had some tee box issues. It, it looked like maybe they're not moving the tees as often as they need to because right. some of them were pretty up. chewed up. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so maybe a little attention on moving the tees and, and getting those uh, seated a little bit would help. Uh, Greens were in, in generally good shape. I, I found a few of them that had a little bit of uh, ball marks that weren't being repaired like they should, but yeah. overall they sure. rolled pretty well. Pretty I good think they were true. Time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, there was a couple I thought that could have been cut a little better, you know. Definitely not the worst greens we've putted on. True. Yeah. yeah I, um, I think they putted smooth. I just, some of the hole locations I think were a little tricky. You know, they were... Yeah, I agree with that. The, and you know, speaking of tricky, this golf course is not an easy golf no, course. No, it's, it's not. It's a good challenge. There is a lot of variety in terms of green size, green shape, elevation, uh, changes. elevation changes. Lots of bunkers and lots of interesting configurations. And you, I found lots of trees. You well, did. You hit a lot of trees. My I goodness. think we all did. Didn't we? <laughs> it's like lumberjack golf out here today. I think that's what the Woodlands has definitely lived up to. Oh, yeah. right. exactly. It's all coming together now. Um, but we had a good time playing the course. It's a good challenge. You'll find lots of dog legs. Right. Uh, it's 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 a good challenge. We it's played from the holes. white tees today. Yeah. Which what did we say the distance was in the white tees? Maybe just over six thousand. Barely. Not super long. Yeah. I think that uh, I know there's a set of tees behind the whites that's green, and I think actually there's one set behind that as well. Black. Yeah. Like, I think. Well, I got the you card here. It was like square. Yeah. I think it played. White tees played about fifty nine hundred. Okay. Yep. The green tees played like 6,400. So right. There's a big difference there. I we, think the slope on the that's, white uh, was like 126. That's in our still, wheelhouse. We, we could have played either we for today. So the white <laughs> tees were a good choice. Yes, I agree. It was plenty challenging. It was plenty challenging. And fun. We always talk about the fun factor when it comes to golf courses. I think that's one of the things that uh, I think of first when I think about Shaker Run mm -hmm. is that it's a fun golf course. And we've right. played out here many times. Right. I'll tell it's been you, a while. One thing that I don't love, and it's actually gotten worse here. What's that? I remember playing back here years ago, maybe even when I was a kid, and I don't know if I remember any houses on this golf course. <laughs> and 
there was a point in time where I hadn't played here in several years, and then I drove to the golf course, and I almost didn't recognize the drive because there are so many houses. Condos, now, there are a few. They've yeah, compounded that by building a ton of townhouses. Oh, my goodness. Like, all mm -hmm. over the golf course, and a lot of them are in play. Right. We snapped... We joked at one point we'd taken more pictures of townhouses than we did of the golf course. Exactly. Um, and I get it. I mean, you know, they're making money. They're building places. They look like they're live. nice homes. Oh, they're nice. They're not. Yeah. Know, they're not shabby. Yeah. They're good looking yeah. townhomes. I just wish there weren't quite so many on the golf course it's because not so close to the golf course. Right. And not in play. You know? And we've talked about this before. Being average golfers, it makes us even more nervous when they put nice townhomes <laughs> right off right. the fairways. <laughs> and when people are sitting there. Yeah, yeah, that makes us nervous, and we're scared of seeing their house. So it's doubly bad. Oh. Um, one other interesting side note here, that additional nine, the Meadows, you know who designed that? Who? Dr. Michael Herdzen. Well, of course. Ding, ding, ding. How many times have we talked about this oh, dude on these goodness. golf reviews? Maybe we should just look him up and follow him around to all of his courses. I think he has a, a practice in Columbus with his son. We should go for a road trip and find him. That would be an awesome interview. If we See, now we've, now we've had our mm -hmm. first official subpar guest. Maybe we, we have to, our first official subpar interview. We should try to pull that off. Golf architect? <laughs> Mike Hart's going to be like, I'm sorry, you're who? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, we've got a YouTube channel. We've got 500 followers. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had 500 followers. We have like a fifth of that. Oh, hey, look, we, we have some ducks. Let's see, everybody wants to come see our reviews. How about that? What's going on, ladies? Yeah. We don't have any bread for no you. No food. No food here. I don't think you're supposed to feed bread to ducks anymore. No. no. Lettuce and grapes and things like that. Yeah, healthy stuff. Or yeah, nothing. Yeah. Or nothing. Or nothing. Or nothing at all. Anyway, well, well, I'm glad our ducks are here. That makes things interesting. Yeah. Yep. Um, the shot. They do have some other good amenities here. Yeah. They've got a really nice, pretty big driving range. So if you want to work on your game, they you can come down and do that. They have a driving range. They've yeah. got a nice little practice green. Um, one oddity, they had us... And this is one thing I don't like, and once again, Yankee Trace does the same thing. They don't actually recognize the routing of the original 18 holes. Oh, yeah. They yeah. actually think of them independent. The three independent holes. I don't like that. So nine, we yeah. teed off on Woodlands. Did I say that right? Yes. We teed off on Woodlands today, which used to be the back nine. And the bummer there is that the practice green is on number one of Lakeside, right. since that was the original front nine. So you can't warm up and practice your putts before you play when you start on Woodlands. Correct. So that was kind of lame. Um, you know us, though. We go from the car to the first tee, so it doesn't really matter. Exactly. But if you were serious about your game, <laughs> then you couldn't practice your putting if you teed off that way. Um, but it is a nice practice green, and it is. the driving range is great. They've also got lots of amenities here if you want to have an event. And we've yeah. seen that at quite a few courses recently. Um, the clubhouse here is great. It is amazing. And we, we nice mentioned club. briefly the restaurant. Like I said, the folks there were super friendly. Um, Lots of made merchandise. Made us great nice. cocktails. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what this is, but it's delicious. Well, they call it their John Daly, which is... Twisted tea whiskey. Twisted tea whiskey, which is the first time I've ever heard and of lemonade. that. And lemonade. Fantastic. It's like a John Daly. Yeah. The, yeah. With twisted tea right. whiskey. Right. Fantastic. Yes. And, and they could I recommend not the nicer. double. Yeah, yeah, we would have second, that, second was better than the first. <laughs> Funny how that works. I'll well, take your word for it. I'm just on the one here. Well, our first one was hours ago. Yeah. So. Um, but they do have uh, folks here who can help you out if you want to have a wedding or a big party sure. or a corporate event. They've got lots of nice uh, space in here. The um, indoor facility will host, what, 200? 200, 250, something, something like that. Something like that. Good number of folks. You've yeah. got a separate building here that looks like it. A reception hall, yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. It's very nice. It's got nice views of the uh, glass walls, ninth and over the lake. holes here uh, yeah. over the lake, with ducks and whatnot. Very but nice. And I will say, back to the restaurant, that place was packed today. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah. I mean, I think people come here just to eat at the restaurant, so they're doing some good things at the restaurant. At the restaurant, yeah, sure. Yeah. I think it's popular with the neighborhood people. If you really, right, well, that, I mean, I guess that's it's almost like a country club. All the houses thing, they've you know? built. Well, you know, this they do used have, to be. And they it do have be, memberships yeah. available here. Yeah. I think for, I don't know, a couple thousand dollars, you can get a membership to mm -hmm. play here. Um, one interesting perk I saw, which I don't normally see at, at private membership courses, is that if you want to have friends who aren't members come and play with you, they get a discount on the green fees. Oh, that's great. Oh, I've that never seen that cool. I've never seen that either. Yeah. So if you're, if, you're in the, yeah. <laughs> if you live in the neighborhood or you're in the area, this is a cool golf course. If you want a membership, come down and check it out. 
might be a good deal for you. One of the things I'm going to start checking at these courses we review, what are the rates for seniors, and when does the senior rate start? Because I'm starting Simmer to get down to there, a certain age, you know? I, yeah, I didn't even ask, and I probably should have, because I, I've hit one of those thresholds that they measure, but... I, I Heather would... I've what was it, 55? Yeah. yeah, Heather Woods goes low, man. Yeah, it was 55, 55 at Heatherwood yeah, when yeah, I played. Yeah, I'll remember but that my next time I home course is Beaver Creek, and it's still 60. You're get, I'm not there yet. There. I would be good for that. <laughs> I'm not See, there Mike's already qualified. I'm already there. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about a score for this thing, since that's the objective here. That is true. Sure. Mike, what are your thoughts? Well, I'm picking... See, I, I haven't done any of these with you, so <laughs> I've, I've watched your videos, so I, I, I know what your thresholds are and stuff. The number that popped into my head, I was thinking somewhere in the seven two seven three range. Okay. But, okay. Um, I could be, you know, what comps do we have based on you guys? What comps do we have in that area? I mean, we've played on a lot of courses that are uh, similar fun factor, uh, similar feature factor. I think the the con with this golf course right now, and you know, we mentioned that it's in much better shape than it was in for a while there, back about ten years ago. But there's still some maintenance shortcomings. I feel like they could, uh, the detail stuff, things that we loved about like uh, Heatherwood, mm -hmm. they just get all the details. The, the tee boxes are perfect. They're manicured. The bunkers yes. are well raked and the sand has zero rocks. Oh, we saw some rocks today. It's, it's just not quite that level here. Um, Mike had a really valuable insight earlier. He said this golf course should be an 8.5. Uh, and I yeah. absolutely agree, I agree with that assessment. It should be an 8.5. But I think some of these shortcomings are going to prevent it from getting that high. I, I feel like you're in the ballpark, Mike, with a, a low to mid-7 score. What do you think, John? I'd, I'd say somewhere around a 7.4, 7.5, 7.4. All right. Um, the comparable golf courses, I mean, we talked about, like, Walden Ponds mm -hmm. should be a comp. Yeah. Maybe the Vineyard and Sharon Woods should be comps. Yeah, Pipestone's probably a comp because it's an Arthur Hills design as well. Oh, there yeah, you go. Good call. Legendary Run for that Legendary matter run, should be yeah. a comp. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with what you guys are talking about in terms of score. I, I think uh, under 7.5, but not much. What do we think about uh, splitting the difference, maybe going like a 7.4? I'm okay with 7. You feel I good with a 7.4? Yeah, yeah. I'm good with that. All right, Shake a Run, 7.4, subpar golf review. Get a couple more of those details squared away, and uh, that number could definitely reach eight? the eights. The signage was average, you know. They did have signage. They though. had it. They did um, it. Yeah. This isn't a navigational challenge like some of the courses we played, but they did have some some they good signage some to signage. let you know. In fact, we we joked with one of the guys who works here. The sign above the cart barn. It's it's impressive the number. Of, <laughs> we, we joked that Albuquerque should be on there. Uh, it looks like something on a turnpike, you know. <laughs> So the signage was pretty good, um, and we haven't actually talked much about signage at some of the last courses we've done. Right. I mean, sometimes courses don't really need it. It's obvious where you're going. But it's important to others. It's but, important. you know, for somebody, and yeah, once somebody again, never played it right. before. Right, exactly. Yeah. We've played here before, so maybe if it was your first time, maybe it would be a little confusing. So I guess kudos for the, yeah. the wayfinding here. Yep. Anything else? Adequate parking? Oh, parking's parking is great. Yeah. Pro Shop was great. In fact, they have maybe so more much, apparel, so yeah. more soft goods than any of the other pro shops we've seen recently. they got a lot of nice stuff here. They really do. They really do. I don't know. I didn't check to see if they had golf simulators or anything like that. I don't think they do. I don't I don't think they do. I don't do. know if they do or not. That's, I didn't see anything. That's still a rarity. It's, it, it's You're in rare air if you have yeah. simulators in your course. I think about what a, are we year or two, two? a year or two, everyone will have them. Maybe. You would think, too, with the community ties this place has, that would probably be a good ad. Yeah. And they've got Probably property. They've they got, got space it. to do it. Yeah. yeah. All right, gentlemen. Mike, we are so happy that you joined us. I'm it happy to have been here. Thank you. I appreciate Cheers. appreciate the invite. You're welcome anytime to come off with us. I look forward to doing it again soon. Absolutely. Fantastic. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Thank you, Blake, for joining us Absolutely. today. We Blake, appreciate it was you watching too. Um, it's getting close to the end of the summer, but we're going to keep playing as long as we can. We're going to try to get a few more in, right? There's a course in Fairfield that we'd like to check off the list. And I'm sorry, I don't remember its actual name. It's Fairfield it's the Greens. One that, Fairfield Greens, is that what it is? That's the one that Blake was talking about? That was, yeah, he yeah. was talking yeah. about that. Um, my daughter played high school golf, and they had like a, a district or regional tournament there years ago. So I've seen the course, but I've never played it. It looks mm. like it might be a fun place to go. Uh, we also had a viewer request to go do Sugar Isle. Oh, up in um, New Carlisle. Yeah. Okay. That is a fun golf course. We played that one. 
it's going to be an interesting score on that one too because yeah. the fun factor on that golf course is way up there yeah. but i can tell you having played there several times even though it's been years it's not a super well maintained course well we haven't been in a while they might have changed i'm I not gonna hold it. my breath but we'll see we, we won't give them a score until we play the course that's, that's that. right fair so, enough um, we hope to get out a few more times before Old Man Winter comes back. Right. And then uh, we will be playing uh, Subpar Country Club uh, Indoor Golf League again this year. Absolutely. So, I can't wait for that. If you're bored on Thursday evenings, uh, join. We do those live stream. We chat about golf, sports, food, whatever. Right. And we always play nine holes at a fun Always have fun a course. drink of the night. We do have cocktails. Yep. So <laughs> it's important. It's a good time once winter comes and we can't play outside anymore and we can play in the garage. Mm -hmm. So appreciate you watching. Take care, and we'll see you on another course soon. Cheers.